Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I prep my oily skin before makeup. So, stay tuned. I remember when my mother would kiss me goodnight and tuck me in. We would pray. The first thing I'm going to be doing is to cleanse my face with my blossom micellar water and a baby wipe. You can also use a cutting pad for this. But for me, what I use is the Use a baby wipe and whatever the skin type you have, make sure you cleanse your face very well before applying any product on it. After cleansing, I allow it to dry up a bit before going in with my hydrating spray. I'm using the Kiss Beauty spray to hydrate my face, guys. Since I started using this hydrating spray before applying other skincare products on my face, guys, my life has changed. <laughs> I really like, I really, really love this spray. And now I'm going in with my Blossom Serum to further more hydrate my skin. Most people think because you have an oily skin, you shouldn't hydrate well before makeup. No, make sure you hydrate your skin very well, no matter the skin type you have, before applying any product on your face. That is very necessary. So now I'm going in with my Cetaphil Moisturizer to moisturize my face. Sure. Each product you apply your own face dry before going with the next one. And I'll be using my hand to massage it into the skin so it sits well. My innocence is gone and my flame is going strong. Won't let it suffocate. So guys, can you see the glow? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Even though there is spot on my face. So to prime the face, I'm using the classic primer. I'll be applying it on the places, on the places my face produces oil. I please don't mind my light, like it was just fluctuating on this day. Yeah. So next up, what I did was I went in my mirror setting powder to set the the places I produce oil, like to set everything. In. I tried it was good, so I tried it and it has been working so far. I'm just showing you guys what I do, and if it works for you, fine, you do it. If it doesn't work, you look for something else that works for you. So this is not like the a must because everybody has their own way of prepping their skin before makeup and what works for them. So this is what has been working for me and I sweat a lot. Applying this, the first day I tried this, like I was amazed because after doing my first video, that's like, like a makeup tutorial, I actually went ahead to to see film another video when the fan was not even on because it was a sit down talk i was talking directly to the camera and i hate hearing the sound of that of the fan so guys this i did not sweat throughout like i literally did not sweat i don't know if it was because of the weather but trying it on and on I, i'm seeing the changes and I'm, like before i don't like wearing makeup because of the way i sweat and the, i produce oil but i think since i started doing this skin prep process for makeup it has reduced it. It's not like it stopped the task with you. So if it doesn't work for you, please don't do it. Guys, you can still see that the hydration under my under my eyes is still there. Please do not put these products under your eyes. Make sure you retain the hydration under your eyes. So I went in with my classic lip gloss to moisturize my lips. I went in with my Kiss Beauty spray. Furthermore, hydrate the, the, the face and also lock in all the products. And guys, my face, this is how I prep my skin before makeup. If you can try it, if it doesn't work, don't do it. And then my face is ready for makeup. 